Well, hello. The purpose of this screencast is to get you acquainted with Moodle and some of its features and how I'll be using Moodle. Okay, Moodle, first of all, is a learning management system. In other words, this is a platform uh, where professors can post course materials, uh, they can host various learning activities. Okay, this was originally developed for distance learning. Uh, you may be familiar with Moodle because of your experiences with COVID, but it was originally developed for distance learning to develop to to deliver course materials long distance. I find it a very useful tool, however, for as a companion to a face to face course. Very handy because it keeps everything in one very convenient spot. You log into Moodle with your normal portal credentials, and I'm assuming that you can do that. If you can't do that, you need to contact Information Services and they can help you with your login credentials. So once you log into Moodle, you will go to the dashboard and this is what your typical dashboard looks like. I am logged in as a student right now so that this is what you would see. And you're going to see basically a blank calendar and a blank page. Okay, This can be customized. If you go to your courses, and go to the cor your courses, you should see a list. A list of the courses that you've been enrolled in. If you prefer, you could make it a summary. You could make it a the cards. Okay, let's just keep it at a list right now. What you can do with the list, uh, you can go to the three, the three stars or the three buttons, and I could star this course. What that will do for me I go back to the dashboard is it will place your most you will it'll place your starred courses right at the top so if there's a specific course in Moodle that you are going to access a lot you may wish to star it and then it, it appears right at the very top and you don't have to go looking through a list you can also open up a side panel and there's some blocks there there's not going to be a ton of things there for you. You might want to look at some announcements. There will be some events. Uh, if there's anything coming up in any of your Moodle courses, it will be listed in this block here. Otherwise, we could put that away. Okay. Um, there's also a calendar here, and I'll talk more about the calendar, but the calendar is customizable. That's a new feature. You can select whichever courses you wish. You can select a timeline. You could sort it for the next seven days, however you wish to do that. This is a very useful feature. I will be referring back to that in just a moment. So let's go into the biology course. Okay. And uh, here is what a course looks like. <clears throat> There's going to be topics. These topics can expand. And there are things inside here. Okay. What they are. We'll get to that in due time. Navigation, well, there's a couple ways you can do that. You could choose to expand all of them and then you scroll you know, for an infinitely long time. You could choose to collapse them all. If you go to the, to the left-hand pane, notice that you have a navigation system built in. Okay, and you can collapse, expand topics in this navigation pane as well. So if there's something you need to jump to in a hurry, we're in chapter six, you wanna go to this, uh, go to resources, there it is, open it up, and it'll help you to navigate, okay? There's also a right-hand pane, okay? Um, I'll get to that in just a moment. An item, many times, in the right hand corner, there's going to be a breadcrumb trail. So say, that's not what I wanted. Well, I could go to the previous activity, I could go to the next activity, or I could just go back to the course. Okay, there it is. That's the breadcrumb. And that will take me back to the main page. Okay. So that's just the basics of how to how to navigate in Moodle. Uh, what's in here? Um, we will find things like files. There's a file, there's a presentation, that's going to be a PowerPoint, PDFs, okay? Quizzes. 
I'll tell you about quizzes and tests in class. Those are going to be in there. Okay, I will have readings. When you see this icon, readings, these are forums where I can post announcements, where you can post questions. Okay, there's lots of things here in Moodle. Okay, uh, links. So when you see the, the globe, there is a link to an external website. Okay, lots of things here to support what we do in class. Okay, Moodle has a couple of really good tools to help keep you organized. Probably the best tool to keep organized is the calendar. When you open the right hand pane, notice there's a calendar which you can scroll through. Right now, it is blank because I have yet to set up the due dates. But if there's anything with a due date in Moodle, if a quiz opens, if a quiz closes, if an assignment is due, if it opens up, if there's a forum assignment due, it will appear on this calendar. And you can cycle through that. Okay, You can import or export. Okay, I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, what you can do is go to your dashboard, okay, and on your dashboard, this is a very powerful calendar because it allows you to grab due dates from all your Moodle courses if you wish, or just the ones that you wish to appear. And you can select the timeline. Do you want it within the next days, with all of them overdue in the next 30 days, whatever. However you want to get that. Where this can get very powerful, however, is if you wish to export this. If you wish to export your calendar by clicking the button, you can make some selections, all of the events for this month. When you click export, notice that ICS, that is a, that is a calendar feature. You can import an ICS into Outlook. You can import it into iPhone. You can import it into Google Drive, into your Google Calendar. So you can take these and drop them in if that's what you wish to do. Okay. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. Let's go back into the course. So the calendar feature is very, very, very useful. I would encourage you to check that calendar often okay all right another thing that will help keep you organized is this course completion block right here and i have set up all of the all of the grades in this course completion when you click on more details here are all of the assignments what you need to do to pass have you completed them yet. Obviously, my test student hasn't completed any, everything yet. This gives you a quick overview of what's all coming and whether or not you have uh, completed it. Okay, let's go back to the course. <clears throat> One of the other features of Moodle is it enhances communication. And I very much like this feature. If I open general, there's two forums here, announcements and the Q&A forum. I do not use bulk email. If there is an announcement to be made to the whole class, I will use the announcements forum. And you should get an email notification that there's an announcement there. Okay, but you'll probably need to check that announcement. There's a Q&A forum. Students have used that. If you have a question, think of this as raising your hand in class, but you're not in class. You have a question, something general. I don't understand these directions. Can you give me more clarification, etc.? Feel free to post in the Q and A forum. What happens then is that we have a record of your of your question, and other students can benefit from the question and the answer feel free to use the Q&A forum. Okay, 
Another feature of Moodle that I use extensively is found right up here in the corner. Notice there's a notification here, but right here, right next to it is the messaging feature. Okay, I do not use email to communicate with bio students about biology, and I will discourage you from using email to communicate with me about biology. I would much prefer that you use the messaging feature. In the search, you can search for a specific person. Okay, and once you have found a person, search, okay, there's me. You can write a message. Okay. And the little paper airplane icon sends it off. Okay, send me a message, please. This is as private as email. No one else in the course, if you just address it to me, no one else in the course will see a message. Okay, likewise, if I send you, just you, a message, no one else in the course can see it. I can send bulk messages to the entire course, to the entire section, the whole course. But if it's just, just to you, it is private. Okay, so you can use this to communicate with me about grades, about any kind of question that you might have. You might be asking yourself, why not just use email? Okay, well, we found out during COVID how quickly email boxes can become bloated. Uh, that is still the case here at college too, that sometimes emails simply get lost in an inbox. Uh, secondly, this keeps all bio communication right here in bio. Okay, makes it much easier for me to check what's going on. Third, I have a permanent record of the message. Okay, so if I ever need to go back to it, if we need to follow up on it, your message is still there. We can continue. It just works nicely. So I'm going to encourage you not to use email if it's about something about the biology course. Of course, you're free to email me if it's about something else, but let's keep bio in bio. It works out very nicely. Okay, I appreciate you using that feature. Okay, and the final topic is your grade book. To get to the grade book, there's a button right here for grades. Your grades are private. Nobody else in the course can see your grades. Obviously, I can as your instructor. Okay, so your grade book gives you the listing of the grades. I will give you a breakdown of how the course is graded once we meet face to face. Okay, but here are all of the grades and you will see, okay, there is point range between 0 and 20, your grade, your percentage, etc. This is the official grade book for the course. Let me repeat that. This is the official grade book. The grades you see in Moodle are the same grades that I see. I do not keep a separate grade book somewhere. So as you, as you make progress through the course, you will be able to keep track of exactly how well you're doing. If you see, for example, you're looking through and see a dash, that means that there's no grade there, okay? Um, if you look at a lab, for example, there's a lab and there's a dash, that means it's missing, okay? So, I don't chase students down any longer, uh, and you should not expect me to if you have a missing grade. The nobody told me it was missing, well, that doesn't work anymore. Yes, I did tell you. Your grade doesn't show up in the grade book. If you didn't check your grade book, well, that, that's on you. So it's up to you to keep on top of your grades, and if there's something missing, to initiate the communication to get it resolved. I encourage you to check your grades often. Make sure that they're accurate, okay? I am not gonna be checking through individual students' grades, okay? 
I will be giving you more details about grading and turning things in at another time. But make sure you're checking the grades. That's important. There's more to Moodle, but as we progress through the course, I'll be giving you more specific details. This will, this will do to start with. Okay. Let me encourage you to click around in Moodle. You will not break anything. You will not do anything you're not supposed to. Please click around. You just might want to be careful. If you click on a test by accident, most times it'll tell you, yeah, you can't do it if it's a test. Okay, if it's a quiz, well, it might let you in. It might not. Let's see. There it's a quiz. Nope, I don't want to take the quiz. You can always back out. So you can't break anything. Explore Moodle, see what's there. Okay, that should wrap it up for the time being. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.